Done thinking? You have a decision to make. I say give the potion to Geraldine here. Go on then. That's totally me. Mabel snorts, but you can see that she's fuming. Yes, totally me. Thanks, Mabel. I love you. Me, please. Uh... Look, we're cows who were once people who were enslaved and bewitched by a nasty old... uh... witch. We don't have much to offer. Geraldine listens with bated breath. Mabel pretends not to care. to think about. Okay, see you later. My days of chasing after dirt. Give up my wings for a respite from this pestilence. A rare, uh, highly prized breed called, uh, oh, I can't quite recall. This cursed sickness has scrambled my memories. I can't think straight. My feathers are molting. My wings can't carry me anymore. I feel so cold. All I can think about is warmth. It painstakingly attempts to flap its wings to no effect. You catch a glimpse of its weak little torso. A faint glow emits from within it, like a cooling ember. A phoenix? Cut back on whatever you're drinking. I'm in no mood to be made fun of. Not in this condition. I'd know if I was a phoenix. The bird stares at you for a long moment. All right, do it. Burn me. But may the flames consume you too if you're wrong about this. Is... is it dead? Egg? A phoenix egg?
The egg is warm to the touch, but not from the ashes. This warmth comes from deep within the egg. The egg is smooth and glossy dark, like some rare volcanic mineral. From deep within its core, a fiery glow pulsates, almost like a heartbeat. A rare find could come in handy at some point. It's beautiful. Don't harm it. Keep it safe. To harm something so rare, so defenseless, it would be a terrible sin. Keep the egg safe. This is a find not to be squandered idly. I shall keep it for now.
Did you expect a needle? both. The squirrel's cheeks are so distended with acorns, its mouth is stretched wide in a surprised-looking O. Too skinny, Aoife said. Gotta get my plump on for winter. As the squirrel speaks, one fat acorn plops out of its mouth and rolls onto the ground between you. The squirrel's eyes go wide as its mouth. Get your speedy eyes off my dinner! Mine! Mine! The squirrel grasps the acorn in its tiny paws and scuttles away. Don't be casting your long shadows around here, mister. 
This your land's not for your kind. aren't you? You're not straw. But I bit some straw. It was shaped a little like you, but then it moved and threw me off it. The rabbit shakes its head. No, I'm dizzy. I hit my head when the straw man threw me in the air. A lake of death fog, and the bridge appears to be down. Someone wants to discourage visitors. There must be.
you've made it. What lies ahead looks even less welcoming. And sh s salutations. Have no fear, we mean you no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. No harm. The being sniffs the air in your direction and licks his lips. He moves a couple of paces towards you, his eyes hungry and entranced. He abruptly slaps himself in the face and halts his advance. My manners. Master would not be pleased. He awaits you west of here. He will not harm you. Others may. He doesn't respond at first. Instead, he stares, consuming you with his eyes. He bites his frayed lower lip, drawing blood. Master is master. He wants you to go to him, west of here. A servant. A loyal servant. He wrings his hands as he answers you. Wrings them bloody. Loyal and hungry. Go now. Save your questions from master. Spare me your presence. The statue is a striking sight, a sizzling blue totem on a blood-red aisle. Even stranger, a shard of polished iron peeks from under the statue's base. There's something hidden beneath this massive sculpture. The tree is surrounded, and the Advocate has us skipping stones. Flaming figure emits no heat, yet your skin seems to sit.
The blazing blue flame seems to bu Every corner of this place hide grim secrets. ever regretted having extra help in a fight. I'll guarantee you that.
Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Hear ye! Hear ye! Bishop Alexander was slain by Seagus! Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget. Justinia executes two dozen noblemen for insubordination. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right. As long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. Tell me, I'm all right. have you heard any news? Think about it too much. Nothing you're good. The void woken are everywhere. Thank the divine you're here to protect us. I... I... Uh, yes, yes, of course. Back again, eh? It's free to their travels, friend. Ah! 
How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Selling. Capital. Good luck to you. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your tongue. Would you like to know? Your fish stinks of the void. What kind of rat would sell such filth? The kind that don't fancy starving, along with the rest of this town. It's all well and good for you with your rations. We've got to take what we can get. Keep talking to all from you led up eating sawdust from a cell floor. Ah. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? You're holding up. Not in any mood to talk about it. worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come so, visit your ton, have you heard any who news? will? Nothing good. The void like woken are everywhere. Thank the divine you're here to protect us. I... I... Uh, together, yes, please. yes, of course. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Keep 
in it together, Bree. I'm all right. As long as I don't think of it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Back for a return visit, are you? Have at it. Got yourself situated. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit you a ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Yep, yep. Glad to see you well. Anything more? How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. There's a lot of coal for the junk you sell, then. Junk? Why, I offer nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients, and... Vapid fiction, along with a large helping of ham. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. I don't come visit your ton. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Hear ye! Hear ye! Bishop Alexander was slain by singers! Culprits still at large! How are you holding up? What kind of rat would sell such things? The kind that don't fancy starving, along with the rest of this town. It's all well and good for you with your rations. We've got to take what we can get. Keep talking to all for new lender heating sawdust from a cell floor. worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. I don't come visit your ton. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Divine order to march against the ancient empire! Until later, then. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. I don't come visit your ton. Keeping it together, Bree. 
keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't be hurt too much. You're here to protect us. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Yes, of course. How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Jonathan, how long has it been? Gareth looks to the limp body at his feet, then to you, sword raised. He isn't quite present, but lost in his own tangled thoughts. I knew I'd see him again. I wish it hadn't been like this. Indeed. Yet more than that. His name is Jonathan. He is my friend. Or was my friend. I led him here. I felt someone's gaze on me from almost the very moment I stepped foot on the coast. Lucian taught never to ignore augury. And sure enough, I saw the flash of white. I heard the sprigs snapping. Someone was watching, following. I came here and waited. The door swung open and it was him. A face I hadn't seen since I was called to the Seekers. He didn't say a word, just flashed the arrest warrant. Seems he didn't expect the punch. Now, now I must do as duty requires. Gareth raises his blade and tightens his grip, but falters. He cannot strike the final blow. You want me to drag a white across the coast in viewing distance of a dozen magisters and get a tongue lashing from Malady as a reward? I have not lost all sense, I assure you. Gareth's fingers open and close around his sword's hilt. His breathing slows and his face relaxes, yet his arm remains suspended. Gareth lowers his arm and straightens his spine. I know a safe place nearby, away from the creatures of the meadows. I'll take him there. He'll be untouched until he wakes. I pray he remembers what we were, and what we still might be, should Lucian will it. A vast continent full of people. That's broken.
Thank you. 